Hey, welcome back, guys. It's John Gorm here with Education Solutions. Good to see you all. Uh, I would like to do a follow up here with my Google Sheets. Uh, how to sum the first part was how to sum uh, your scores. I've got some example quiz scores here for my class, and then how to take those scores and then create a letter grade by going through your range. So if you didn't see the very first video on that, I will put a link down below to how to um, how to get your your scores here. So I've got my class right here of 30 students, uh, Daisuke Tanaka 1 on down to Daisuke Tanaka 3, sorry, 30. And we've got three different quiz scores here that total up to 100. So it's a nice even number here. And so what we'll do first to get our scores, uh, we need to do the equal sign. Uh, first of all, you gotta click on the cell and then we'll do the equal sign. And you wanna click, uh, you wanna type in sum and open parentheses. And then you'll drag over and hit enter. And this will give you your score. So what you'll do is find the corner, drag this down, and you should have your score. There's your total score. So what I need to do now is I need to find my, uh, I need to, to populate some letter grades here. So I've got my range, uh, 190 is gonna be an A on down to F right there. So you can see my my scores and, and what letter grade that means. But what I would like to do here is I would like to put in a, uh, I wanna make, let me move my picture over just a little bit. What I want to make though is uh, uh, A plus, A and A minus, That's that style here. So we have to do the if, uh, so that's gonna be um, if, if this, then that. So we're gonna look for the total score and we're looking at the column H right here, our total score, which is out of 100, and uh, and how to get our letter grade populated here automatically. So I'll click on this very first cell in, in uh, column I, where it says grade. And uh, up here at the top where you can type, uh, you're gonna type in the equals and if, open parentheses, and we're looking at H2, which is this column back here which uh, this first one we have 98. So uh, it's looking at if H2 is greater than 99, then you put a comma and in parentheses, an A plus. So if your score is greater than 99, then it's going to automatically assume that that will be uh, an A plus letter grade. We'll put another comma and then you put an if, we've got to put in all of our ranges here. So if H2, is uh, is greater than, and in this case, we wanna say it's greater than 93, then that's going to be an A. So you have to keep going through here. So if H2 is greater than 89, then that will be an A minus. We're gonna go through all of these. So if you, I, I won't go through every single one of them here. I'll pause the video and and then I'll show you what it looks like in the very end. But uh, if you look at this right here, so what this means is that uh, if it's greater, if the score is greater than 99, it will give them an A plus. It'll give the student an A plus here. If the score is uh, greater than 93, but less than 99, it'll give them an A. If the score is greater than 89, but less than 93, they'll receive an A minus. So I'm going to look at, if you just look at my range of scores here, I'm going to go ahead and populate the rest of this here. Uh, and then I'll show you guys exactly what I did. So I'll pause the video for just a minute and then I'll come back to it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and populated all of these here so we can see, I've already explained the, uh, the A's. Uh, for the B's, I've got my uh, if it's greater than 87, but it's less than 89, that's going to be an A minus. If it's greater than 83, but less than 87, that will uh, give it a B. And then greater than 79, but less than 83 will be a B minus. I go all the way down here until we get to the very end. And this one is if it, uh, if H2 is greater than 59, but uh, less than 63, that will give them a D minus. Now here's the final one. If H2 is less than 59, that will give them an F. And I've got, I believe, 13 variables here. So I've put in 13 closed parentheses. So once you're all done with that, you'll click on it and then you'll click on enter. And that should give, yes, exactly. There's my uh, score of 98 was an A. 
So you'll click on this cell and uh, you'll, you'll hover over the cell until you see that plus mark right there. Once you get that plus mark, you'll drag and drop all the way down your column till you get to the very bottom and then let go. And this should calculate your grades for you. So let's just do a quick check on this. So 68 is a D plus, that looks right. 84 is a B, 100 is an A plus, 68 is a D plus, good. 62 is a D minus, 22 is an F. Uh, looks like it calculated it okay. Yeah, 56 is an F, um, 76 is a C. So that is exactly how you can set up your grades. Uh, this works really well if you've got a very big class. If you set this up properly, then you can easily give your students a letter grade. So I hope this was very helpful. Uh, please do comment down below if there's something that you would like to see in the future. Please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as well. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.